Your first 10,000 photographs are your worst, said Henri Cartier-Bresson in the 20th century. Do you agree? Is this famous quote still valid today, now that we have digital cameras? In this video, I'm going to answer this question. But most importantly, I will tell you why you shouldn't worry about this rule. Let's begin. A couple of years ago, I was reading a book, Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell. It's about the stories of successful people. There, you can find something called the 10,000 hour rule. In order to master a skill, we must put 10,000 hours of intense work into it. Fair enough, practice makes perfect. Playing the guitar will definitely sound better after 10,000 hours of practice. We can say the same thing about photography. Of course, your first photos are your worst. Henri Cartier-Bresson was right. On top of that, he was speaking from the perspective of a film photographer. On film, you're shooting more carefully. Those roles are expensive. On top of that, you had to develop the photos or pay someone to do it for you. It was a hard process. You were forced to be more thoughtful before pressing that shutter button. Nowadays, we have digital cameras. If on film you needed 10,000 photos, on digital, how many photos do you need to get good? 20,000, 30,000. We would like to know that exact number, that moment that tells us you're in the big league now. Well, let me tell you something. Don't worry about that number. Back in 2009, when I was taking my first photos, I was the happiest. I didn't have the fancy camera. It was an Olympus E410 that came with two lenses. But as a teenager, what I saw thanks to that camera fascinated me. Each day after my high school classes, I walked the streets of my hometown and did street photography. Although I was bored with that city, now, thanks to photography, I started to enjoy it. I was discovering a lot of interesting events that were happening right next to me. I was curious to see what would happen next. How will my next photo look? Sometimes it was cold or windy outside. I was taking two to three hour walks until my feet hurt, but that didn't matter. I was happy. My happiest days with photography were before my first 10,000 photos. It was the best experience I ever had. This happened to you too, right? I believe that most of us are absolutely fascinated with photography at the beginning. Once we understood the exposure and the manual mode, we felt gods. It was like having a new superpower you wanted to use over and over again. But what's perfect doesn't last long. Something happens. After one or two years of photography, that enthusiasm starts fading away. We are not impressed anymore by what we can achieve. This happens to anybody who learns the basics and becomes more experienced. We want people to appreciate us more. We compare ourselves with others. We start to tell ourselves that we are not as good as we thought. Comparison is the enthusiasm destroyer. If you start photography worrying about these words, your first 10,000 photos are your worst, you will focus on the wrong thing. You will tend to compare yourself and not to enjoy. If you are not happy at the beginning, when photography really fascinates you, you will miss the most beautiful period. In those first few months, you really don't have to worry about anything. The first rule of photography for beginners or even for pros is to enjoy the process, the experience with photography. Your first 10,000 photos are not your worst. Let me modify this quote a bit. Your first 10,000 photographs are your happiest. Focus on that. Don't worry about performance, especially at the beginning. Forget about what Bresson said. It's a good quote, but oftentimes it's used by frustrated people in the comment section when they see a beginner. Enjoy the process and you will achieve everything you want to achieve. 
These were my thoughts about the 10,000 photos rule. Tell me in the comment section what was your experience as a beginner photographer and if you enjoyed this video, press that like button. See you on the next one.